Hello guys, welcome to SR Technologies. Wish you a happy new year guys. So today we are going to discuss another ETL testing interview question. So the question here, let's get into question. So question here, we have a, we have a two tables. One is source table and another is target table. In source, we have a name, customer ID, order ID, sales and status. We have a five columns are there and target also we have five columns what is the requirement here they are going to give you like this but being a tester you have to analyze this okay they have not given any mapping document here so try to understand here by seeing the source data you have a seven rows seven rows are available by seeing that target data you have only six rows so considering this six rows okay if you understand source data you have a one duplicate record nothing but a here you see right second row and as well as seventh row which is having same record so they wanted to avoid duplicate record that is the one thing which you have to observe and second thing which they are going they have mentioned to the student saying that boss here uh, sales is the varchar 2 data type and order id also varchar 2 data type here consider it, it is a zero okay zero not o so by seeing these two are varchar 2, remaining columns also varchar 2 in source. But while you are moving to the target, what they have done in target table. So in target table, you have a, all the columns are cust name, customer ID and status is columns. These columns are varchar 2 status, varchar 2 data type. But when it comes to order ID and sales ID, you have a number data type. So data type conversion also which is available here so two things one is duplicate removal another is data type conversion and when it comes to status right ss status here you see overall seven rows are there out of it four null values are there in this one duplicate record are there so considering you have a three null values in the source but at the same time in the target when you observe here right here it is av available available in the zeros which means it's kind of you know this particular thing, wherever the null value is there, just you have to populate as a NV, not zeros. So considering this, just, just to populate it, so what are the validations which you are going to perform? First is you have to perform the metadata validation. Metadata validation, source versus source versus target. So here in metadata validation, first is you can check source side. Source side, what it is available? In source side, you have a source side table check table availability okay table availability so you can check table availability then second thing is second thing is column availability column availability and then data type column data type check column data type check so these are the things which you have to check so here we have a i have simulated same similar thing select star from order select star from this is the orders is the source table order target is the nothing but a target table here so by seeing this right just if you wanted to check if you wanted to check the data types so table is available orders table so here if you wanted to check the data types another thing just you can go to first you can go to hr in that hr schema if you can navigate here tables are available in that if you can go to here in the tables if you can drop down if you can click on it automatically you are going to see orders table just you can click on it like this okay by clicking on it you will be able to see this and if you wanted to see the same thing with the see same thing with the sql just you can see select star from select star from all tables okay all tables where where table name equals to table name equals to table underscore name equals to okay what is the table name? Orders. Orders. So if you see here, just you can check the table is availability or not. Table is available in the but in the HR schema or not. You can see HR schema table is available. And at the same time, here we have created the table in the within the schema, but in general, you are going to see different schemas. Source table in different schema and target table is in different schema. So same thing you can check with the target table as well. Target table as well. So you can check it out orders underscore target here. Okay. By seeing this, you will not going to get this because reason is whenever you it is going to store in the metadata tables, right? It is always stores as a value as a capital. So you can give it as orders target. Now you can see table also available. Now tables availability check is done. Both the source and target is done. Now columns availability. Okay. So this is the source was source table is available. Okay. Source, avail source table availability here availability and 
टारगेटेबल अवेलेबिलिटी ओके टारगेटेबल अवेलेबिलिटी here it is a oracle scheme oracle database that is the reason i'm using this particular tables but when it comes to if you can go to with the different scheme different databases then you can go ahead and you can use the those metadata tables here in this case now you have to check the columns check okay columns check columns availability okay columns availability so simply what you have what you have the table is select star from all all tab columns okay all tab columns this is the one of the one of the table is available okay you can see here table is the all tab columns using that you will be able to get the all the columns and data type also so source type source side we have a all the where care to data type and target side we have to check it out whether order id and order id and sales order id and sales it should be it should be columns availability in source okay this is the one thing and here you have to check columns columns availability in target in target so just you can check it out orders underscore target here okay so here you can see this particular thing now you can see orders underscore table and columns are there and target two two data types order id and two columns which is having number data type as expected so columns availability also done now data type also it it has been checked now everything is done now here the major thing which they are asking you have to mention this this is the thing which i can do okay after that very very important thing which they are expecting is data validation data validation source versus target source versus target source versus target and data validation target versus target versus source okay these are the things which they are expecting so what are the things which we have to understand from this particular thing so first is you have to understand removing the duplicates and second thing is you have to you have to convert the data type and third thing is here you have to change the null values to zero so first is first let me take all the columns select start from select all the columns here okay let me take here select one by one first select all the columns then we'll we'll apply the transformation one by one here order id third is okay sales and fifth is here from status from orders okay from orders this is the source table now you have to even apply the same thing with the target table right so on orders underscore tgt so orders underscore tgt now let's query the data here so here you see here overall seven records are there in this case is okay first row is john do john do is having duplicate record cm data okay we don't have any difference here so one duplicate record so we have to load only six records so that is the one of the important thing so what are the thing you have to even verify that you have to remove the duplicates remove remove the duplicate check okay remove the duplicates while loading the while loading the while loading the data into target okay see this is the one of the important thing and next is okay you have to convert convert null values into zero 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 to to zero in in status column status column this is the one of the thing okay now next thing is okay you have to while you are comparing right while you are comparing you have to change the data type now you see here seven records this is already this is also see here okay let me execute this both at a time then you will understand see here you have a seven rows here okay this is the table which is populated by the informatica workflow assume that right now i have created my own but in general it is going to be done by the informatica workflow now you see here six records which means i am removing the last seventh row because it is a duplicate and here you see seven rows so and other than that if you observe here three rows are null and fourth row also null okay nothing but a customer zero c0012 c0030 is having 
null values in the status column. Same thing if you observe here, C0032 here, okay, it is having zeros, which means according to the transformation, it is loaded. Now you have to compare this data. So if I can do it using the minus operator by directly using the minus operation, okay, what is going to happen here? It is going to throw null value. It is going to throw one error. What is that error? If you observe this error, okay, it is going to saying that boss expression must have same data type as corresponding to expression. So which means what it is telling, okay, it is applying the sum of the rules. What are the rules minus set operator? Set of minus is the set operator. What are the rules which is associated? One is number of columns should be same should be same in two select statements, okay? Two select statements, okay? Two select statements. Here, number of columns are same, okay? Here also five columns, here also five columns. The first condition is matching. Second thing, okay, two select statements and position also should be same, okay? Position also, position also should be same, should be same, okay? Here position also same, okay. This condition also same satisfied. Now third condition is data types should be same. Data type should be same, okay, in two select statements, respective columns, okay. So what are these? What are these here? Okay, order ID in source is having where care to. In target, you are having, target you are having number. And sales also having work at two, and sales is having number here. So you have to convert to one form. Okay, then such case, you can apply the transformation using the two number function. Two number function. Okay, you can convert work at two data type to, you can convert to number. Here also, you can convert that to, to number, to number. Here you can convert like that. So you are converting two, two columns into number format instead of going with the varchar2. Okay, in source side you are applying the transformation. Always you can apply the source side transformation. Reason behind it, target it is already applied by the Informatica workflow. It is your duty being a tester. It is your duty to apply the transformation at source side. You have to write the source side query you have to apply the transformation so one one logic is done what is that logic remove first is convert so one logic is done what is that data type conversion logic is done okay so here let me add let data type conversion is done okay data type conversion logic is added in source side query okay data type conversion logic is added added okay logic logic also we have to test so data type we have converted to number. So this particular thing is done. Now next thing is remove the duplicates. Okay. We have to remove the duplicates. Then that time we can use the, we are not going to remove the duplicate. We have to get the, we have to get the unique records. That is the reason I'm using the distinct, distinct. So if I apply all the columns using the distinct, I'm going to get the unique rows, unique rows. Next thing is convert the null values to zero in the status column. So we have to apply the, nvl nvl function in nvl function what we have to do simply if you can apply zero then you will be able to very you will be able to compare the data so by worrying okay by seeing this you are seeing the zero records you are seeing the zero records because it is matching everything now even if you wanted to verify it okay intersect so see now you have done minus okay so that what it is going to give, it is not going to give any records. If you do use the my intersect, automatically you have to get how many rows? You have to get the six rows. So which means it is going to give you the common records between source versus target is six rows. Okay, same thing. I'm using the intersect. So to verify whether minus is working or not. So first is minus to compare the data. Source versus target is done. Data validation here. Okay, source versus target is done. Now you are getting zero records, which is matching means. Okay. Now target versus source. Okay. Target versus source. Just you can rearrange the queries. You can rearrange the queries. Okay. You can rearrange the query here. So simply here you are going to give the this. Okay. Target versus source.
target versus source. So both are coming as a zero records. That's it for the day, guys. Okay, if you like the content, please share and subscribe the channel. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.